Who was that blonde girl at the end? I thought it was Mai for a second, the same bunny case. But actually, if you look back at the episode, there was a moment where Mai was watching TV with a bunch of idols. There was that blonde girl. She got asked the question, uh, what do you, what, what things do you like, I think? And she literally said, I like Mai. And the host was like, the fuck? I said, what things do you like? I think she is obsessed with Mai. Her half-sister truly loves her. I wonder how Mai feels about it, though. Let's begin today's reaction. There she is. What's she doing? What's she kind of like sneaking about? What are you doing? Huh? Are you not know her? Puberty syndrome? Or? Are you not know her? Puberty syndrome? Or? Oh, uh, what the fuck? Wait, wait, wait! L little half sister dresses up like Mai because she's obsessed with the. Why are you? That's definitely her. They're both. What? Why? Oh, you don't even know. He loves it even more if she punches him. Anyways, what's. Huh? They're not even dressing up as each other. They just swapped bodies. Uh, classic, but... What? Hey, this is kind of interesting, though. Maybe this is a good thing that they swapped bodies. Because we don't have... Oh, you don't even know. Probably... Oh, wow, they fucking own the place. Of course she does, but, um, you know, because they swap bodies, we have an excuse to, you know, ex explore the body of the half-sister that we wouldn't get a chance to with the legitimate reason, right? An idol. Yeah, he was right there. I love Mai! She really loves her sister. Alright, alright, alright. What do you mean? They're sisters. Because she wants to be Mai. Right? It's probably her wish to be Mai. I mean, she clearly is infatuated with Mai. <laughs> They're dating. They're going out. What do you mean? Well, yes, but this is a good opportunity, if you know what I'm saying. She won't call her own name. Mai. What, what was that switch up? Hmm. She's acting kind of like professional around Mai? I don't know. Yo, these cats always just sleep right on top of him or walks right all over him. <laughs> it's so cute, though. Because usually she gets to say, you know, Good morning! Careful, if you stop, if you say shit like that, exactly, right? The puberty syndrome, you never know. Damn, what a guy, bro. He's hanging out with Mai, the actress, and Doka, the idol. Bro, this guy is, dude, he's living the dream. Oh, come on now. <laughs> I mean, she actually doesn't, though. That's a lot, okay? That's three more than mine. <laughs> both of you are celebrities. I guess Mai is like on a different tier of prestige in terms of celebrity status. Some spicy drama. It's like cat wars between the moms. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh. Yeah, I would imagine they get like private cars to drive them and stuff. Or is she just not that popular enough for people to recognize? Oh, uh, 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 that's. Hey, come on! You can still. Maybe that's a good thing? I don't know. You can get there. Why? Why are you so obsessed with her? My pride and joy. I mean, you literally became her, though. That's gotta be what's going on. Dude, Futaba keeps using these lab beakers as like. Cooking utensil thingies, you know, even when she was making curry and stuff. She's always wearing a lab coat, too. Is it just me or does Taba decide to change her hairstyle as of last episode? Because usually it's all down, but now she got the ponytail, so it's like a hybrid between, you know, the other Futaba that was posting NSFW stuff and the regular Futaba, right? They've kind of, like, merged together. Oh? Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> he had the best angle the entire time. Those are my legs! We're dating her! <laughs> Choke me! 
Yes, legs around his head, squish it like a watermelon. Mm. Ah, I don't know about that. Ah. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I bet by the end of this arc, Doka will be like, not in love, but... I think she'll understand what Sakuta's about. Yeah, she switched it up. She's like, One Mai. Hmm? I hate you. Why? But I thought she loved him if Mai was the cause. Sakuta, I think, read her perfectly. Yeah. That's what's happening, huh? My pride and joy. But it's turned to some kind of weird hatred because her parents are like, there's some conflict there. Now if she gets this off her chest, maybe they'll switch bodies again. Oh, hello. Well, I mean, there's plenty of girls that comes to our place. Why not another one? Live in the shadow. Why aren't you as good as mine? That is so cruel to tell her that. What the fuck? So her wanting to be my comes from her parents always comparing. I got it. It's not like I love my sister. It's like I need to be her. She's so much better than me. I wish I was her kind of deal. Oof. This is getting heavy. It's not her fault. Oh my god. Hey, at least she's calling her Onichan though. Okay, I'm glad you got that off your chest. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I feel like the moms are evil, but maybe the dad's nice. I, I don't know. You should ask Kai did that. Kai is gonna be like, really big bro? Another girl? Actually, technically, this is mine, so it doesn't really count, but... Here, here it is. Here. Bitch, are you serious? Another girl? Life of crime? No! A chick... <laughs> Male prostitute. No, it is Mai. I wonder why she's hiding it from Kaide, though. I, th I thought, you know... Yes, those legs wrapping around my head. But I thought Kaide wouldn't matter because she's aware of puberty syndrome. I don't know. Scars. No. They're cool. She, sh she, sh she should touch the scar with her toes. Hey, this is... I don't, I don't know. This is still weird, man. Yeah. Well... Was it a fight? She got it off her chest, but it's still not enough. What needs to happen for them to change? <laughs> She's practicing? <laughs> Shoko. What is up with this girl? So we met her. She's been forced out earlier, too. But, like, we're not going into her arc for a long time. And I guess... Season 1 doesn't complete the entire whatever the source material is, so we're limited. I thought that we would handle Shoko, I thought we would handle Kaede, and even, you know, Sakuta's Scar stuff, but that's like future materials if there ever will be a Season 2 kind of deal. The fuck? Hey, you realize? <laughs> She's like, ooh, I look so good. Oh, I forgot about her. Hello, big butt little, uh, Kohai. Damn, flexing on her. <laughs> kind of mean. I don't know. He's just flexing what he got. Why not? Are you sure you didn't want to just see him? His team message is all red. <laughs> Let's block that number. Really? Are you sure? That'd be nice. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh yeah, now he's acting as a proxy to talk between them, huh? Come on, you're the big sister! Be more mature! What if she bombs it? Hey, we skipped September 11th as soon as I say bomb. Action! That's, that's it? <laughs> Cut. That, that's it? <laughs> okay. Was that not good enough? What? Oh, she's getting super nervous. Yo, Sakuta, get in there. Actually, if you try to get in there, he'd probably get arrested and the, the crew would be like, Who the fuck are you? 
What's going on with her? This is just a panic attack, right? Full blown panic attack? Is, or is there something else? What? Oh shit! I'm just gonna assume it's a panic attack and there's nothing else. Oh damn, she's doing the cardio. Really bad. She passed out. I don't know. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, that's the weight and the burden of being mine and the expectations that comes from it. I didn't even think about that. I thought she was totally just cool with it. Huh. But, I mean, she did say that she lives in her sister's shadow and she just holds my up to this crazy ideal. Who? This bitch again! Oh. <laughs> I'm being honestly so mean to her. If you think about it, like I said last episode, she's totally in the right. Like, everybody's trying to get a piece of Kunimi and she should be rightfully worried. It's just the way that she was talking to Sakata in episode 1 that rubbed me off the wrong way. Who's your big sister? I, I don't know. No, I, I don't know. Because you get compared to her. Indifference. It's more complex than that. What is it? Mm, always getting compared to your older sibling that's doing better than you must be pretty shitty, huh? What? Oh. Oh. oh, damn! Step on it harder. Why? Do, do your thing? Do, do what thing? Oh, it's because she wants to talk to you, you know. Not not my, but Doka upstairs right now. You shouldn't have said that. We're gonna do it now. Oh, we're gonna do it. We gotta we got do it now. What's in there? Maybe it's pictures of Sakta. Maybe it's her dildo. What is in there? <laughs> I'm so curious now. We have to know. Yeah, she said there's something in the closet drawer beside a tatami. Let's go check. <laughs> you only eating cup ramen. He needs to clean up after her now? Just food from 7-Eleven, probably. We gotta check what's in the drawer, though. Oh, here it is! Bottom. Bottom drawer, right? Or is it the top? I forget. Check it. Check it! Open! What's in there? Mm. Oh, cliffhanger! I have a feeling we're not actually gonna open it. He's going to, then out of respect for my, he won't. Now, if that was me, I, I, that's the first thing I would've fucking opened because I'm a degenerate, but what could be in there? Hmm, if it's not sex toys, probably something embarrassing that Mai doesn't want to show Sakuta. Maybe it's some kind of precious memories of Sakuta. I don't know what's in there, but we'll see. But if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.